Yeah, that's right. I'm wearing a backwards baseball hat, bro. Why do you step off? This video is going to be fresh to death. What up? That was a segment I would like to call obnoxious college white guy. Yeah, I'm wearing a backwards baseball hat. You know why? Because I went to go get my hair cut this week, and I said to the barber, could you shorten up my hair? And he thought I said, could you please accentuate my male pattern baldness? Anytime you look in the mirror and you say, I have a peninsula of hair, it's not good. So I wear hats. Yay. Normally I do a part of the video where I talk about what you guys all talked about last week. But however, last week, uh, it wasn't that great. Like some of you had horrible weeks and I hope that you have a better week. So instead I'm going to talk about more upbeat things that I'm getting from Twitter. Twitter Tracker, Tuesday Twitter Tracker. That then has two theme songs. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, so first up, Robert Brown. I can't believe you didn't know what a blue-footed booby was. Now you do. I hope that you love it. Tony Hawk, I am not going to listen to Demolition Radio. I'm sorry. Let's see who else we got tweeting today. Hillary, that's awesome that your last assignment is coming up for college this year. Super, super cool. Um, Jimmy Fallon, he tweeted, A dog spa is opening in New York with facials and manicures. If you'd like to order a day spa for your dog, just text FU to Haiti. Oh, Jimmy Fallon, don't judge me. Don't judge me because I care about my dog's looks. Carmen, you know what? You do need to have a voicemail that pertains to Justin Bieber. Because I got the Bieber fever. And the only cure? More Bieber. That was weird sounding. Liz, bouncy balls with peeps in them. So jokes. <laughs> Amber is stuck in traffic in L.A. Ha! <laughs> Good. Um... Paige, you seem to be having weird dreams because of rice. That's very strange. That was like the dumbest one so far. I'm, so, I'm sorry that you got that one. Eric, dude, watch out for ninja homeless guys. I think that Leslie follows my sentiments or something. Sarah, good luck on your hunt for ice cream. Trash it, Tuesday TV talk time. I love that song. Anyways... Yesterday, I turned the TV on. I know it was Monday, but it was a smorgasbord of horribly trashy television shows. I mean, WWE had their draft. I don't know what that is, but it's like a giant, phenomenal pro wrestling event. So that was like event number one. And then we had like the Jessica Simpson reality show TV thing was on. They had an episode of Law & Order that was about reality TV shows. That blows your mind. Oh my gosh. Tough Love Couples was on. Then, of course, ETV is just like non-stop trashy junk. And to top it all off, 16 and Pregnant with Dr. Drew sitting there telling them how their sketchy boyfriends are totally going to be sketchy their entire lives. They should have made better life choices. All of that stuff was on simultaneously, and my brain just like melted and ran out my ears. It was wonderful. So, Nerd Fantastic, um, it has been a while since we've had like good challenges. So I am issuing an all collab challenge. Those are special effects. Did you like them? Did you like them? They were really, really, really low budget though. So uh, anyways, an all collab challenge. Uh, we did this challenge before, but I want to do it again. This challenge is called Two Truths and One Lie. You must, in a video... Tell two things about yourself that are true, and one of which is false, and the rest of us will get to guess which one it is. And then when it's time for your video, you reveal it. That's what it looks like when you reveal. To remove from a veal. That doesn't make any sense. But anyways, that's the new challenge, and everyone has to do it. And I will do mine next week because I believe that I'm running out of time. I just realized that during Twitter Tracker time I didn't mention Dave or Casey, so I would like to briefly just say hello to you too. Casey, it's so fun to sometimes text you. Uh, and remember that if a guy likes your swagger, you kick him to the curb unless he looks like Mick Jagger. It's just one of the rules. And uh, Dave, dude, we should like talk more. I don't know how we'd work that out because our schedules seem to like not mesh well, but we're both cool people, so we should talk. That's what cool people do. They talk to each other. Yeah, it's true. True story. You know, this is a true story, that this is the end of the video. Keep on rocking in the free world. Do not forget to be awesome. Liz, I will see you tomorrow in which you should be telling me one lie and two truths. Because that would be fun. Also part of the challenge. Okay, bye. 
Adios. Sayonara. When does this thing stop?